<laughs> you ever been on a private jet before? No, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> Wanna find out? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first of all, right I need to now. say something. Okay. You know I have a boyfriend. Right. But we are on and off. Okay. Um, I would say we're kind of off right now. Like, we are, like, obviously here together, but we are on and off. I can, I ain't gonna lie, I'm an energy reader. Yeah. And, like, I can pick up on certain energies. Yeah. You know? Um, I just want to make that clear. Yeah. I have a boyfriend. But he isn't here. Mm -hmm. Um, where I'll be here for a couple days. So I just feel weird if I kiss you and he's like in the room. This is a separate room <laughs> from everything. Like I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna convince you to kiss me and nothing like that. <laughs> what are you doing later? Later tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as he said he was an energy reader, it was a wrap right then and there. And we could just pray for the bro. Now we could say that this next guy's got the build of someone who's been cheated on. Have you been cheated on? Yeah, I have. How'd you find out? I checked a health app and found their heart rate spiked at 2 a.m. on a Saturday night. <laughs> dating app wants a conversation over the phone or FaceTime before going out on a date, that is a red flag and let me explain. This is 100%, but in my experience, those guys want a phone call because they are bad at dating. They tend to just have bad personalities, not know how to have a conversation. They've been like burned by going out on all these dates, which is why they want to do phone interviews first. In my experience, what? Plus the FaceTime costs nothing and saves the guy from the obligation of having to pay for the date. And apparently this next guy was standing like a baddie. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Shiloh27. You stand like a baddie. I you stand, stand like a baddie? Yes. And I'm traumatized. Look. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> so that's the only thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> What's your age? That's rude. I'm 51. 57. We've been together for 23 or 4 years. Married 22. How do you handle the bills in your household? Uh, I pretty much pay. He pays them. I yeah. spend it, he's, he pays for it. What's his is mine. Yeah. What's mine is mine. You think that's fair? Actually, we took, we had shifts in this. I mean, early marriage, I worked and where I helped out more, but uh, yeah, it's real fair. Because yeah. I have four kids, there's a lot, I have a job, it's just, it just doesn't make money. So how much were you making at the time when you were raising four kids? Oh gosh. I don't know. It's been so long, it's been 21 years ago. I don't know. I mean, do you think it was like six figures? Were you all rich or was it kind of like, oh my goodness? It was six figures. Yeah. We did, we, we yeah. did well. Yeah. Very entrepreneurial, this man. I spend it, he's... Well, we do know that this guy was much happier 22 years ago, and it's sad because she should be his teammate instead of his opponent. Now, this next guy was speaking some facts. In 10 years, nobody gonna say, Oh, uh, how many? What did you do? Who did you get back? You can tell the statue of a man not by how much money or how much material he's standing here. How many lives have you positively impacted? Keyword positive. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. The reason why I haven't really dated in the last six months is because I've, I have been so focused on myself that if someone were to come into my world, they would need to be a guy who creates a multi-step plan for a date or just in general is super thoughtful because I'm super thoughtful about myself and I'm super intentional about myself. Biggest turnoff in dating is when a guy literally just replies to your Instagram story or likes it and then it's like, hey, do you want to like come over? The level of dating nowadays is gotten just so bland like what happened to the days where people are writing handwritten notes <laughs> as if their life were depending on it huh? 
Yeah, it's probably because a number of guys have been burned before, so then they decided not to put in the effort anymore. And next, we have a chick who was disappointed that her boyfriend just didn't want to spend money on her. Why'd you break up with your ex? Because for his birthday, I made us reservations to the nicest restaurant in Baltimore, planning to spend $400, and I did, and I made those reservations a month in advance in high school, saved up $400, and then my birthday comes around, and he got me not a note, not a card, no flowers, nothing, so I was like, F you, you're done. Did you ask him why he didn't invest in you? Um, he was like, I don't have the money. We're co-workers, I know how much money you make, I know what hours you work, you have the money to buy your girlfriend flowers. So there weren't any signs leading up to it that... There, there were, he would never really plan stuff or anything, but I was like, you know what, I'm type A, I'm a planner, it's chill, and then my birthday came around and I was like, yeah, he doesn't give a... Someone asked me if I was going to be participating in the 4B movement. It's a get away from me. <laughs> First of all, no. And second of all, I'm married and my husband pays all the bills and he also does pull ups off of like water pipes. So I most definitely will not be participating in 4B anything. Well, we can say that the 4B movement can show us who not to date. Now, you won't believe this next scenario. You gotta pay for my kids' food. What? Don't do that. Don't do that. Why, Why are you trying to bring food, please? But I get her kids some food. Because they were, they were their daddy. Was, oh, she bald. Let their damn daddy get them some food. She was right here. Their daddy should be feeding them. Right you say you order a steak for your son? How old is he? He ate. He ate eating steak. He eating the same thing I eat. No. A steak? Oh, hell no. Nah. That ain't for her son. That's for her damn baby daddy. Stop it. Yeah, begging an ex or anyone for that matter is just a lack of self-respect. Now what this next guy pulled out during his date was actually pretty awesome. I started recording my date as soon as I noticed some red flags. He said he brought something fun, so I got scared. And right before our sushi came, he pulled these out. He told me they were chopsticks with a Star Wars reference. It was super weird and he even brought some for me, but I said no. Let's get this straight. That man is the one that dodged the red flag. Because him bringing something to a date that is not only unexpected, but funny and also just very unique to his interest, that is a total green flag. Because that man is just being himself and he's confident in being himself. Four times divorced, four times. Let's see, let's play. Tell me, what do you want to know? What is the most toxic thing that you've ever done? Okay, let's do this. All right, take them for half of the retirement. Take them half of their property. Every three years, you go up from maybe 200 to 300 to 400 to 500. You bring it up to $2,000. Per child, per child. But I got one child right here, Kaylin right here. Her daddy paying child support for her, of course, it always is. Oh! It's just so wild how she sounds so passionate about what she did. Yet if she was that excited about being a great wife, her and her daughter would be so much better off. And next we have another case of regret. Oh my God, I'm officially divorced, yes! Sad. <laughs> custodian of the kids. What about the child support? That's it? Tony, that's crazy. Why? Are you kidding me? Not all of this financial burden with my children is on me? What? <laughs> this is... Oh. What? What'd you do? What'd you do? Did you hit on me? Because if I tell you, you're gonna leave. Just say yes or no. All you have to say is yes or no. I don't want an explanation. I don't want you to leave me. <laughs> What'd you do then? You cheated on me? Say yes or no. Stop crying, dude, and tell me. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Tell me. It's because you wanted to see me. Ooh. My ex. <laughs> Alright. 
este, cuéntame. No, está bueno, babe. Babe, no leave, babe. No leave, babe. Babe. Oh, what happened? You went to go see him, that's what happened. Okay, okay, but you don't even know what happened. Babe, stop. Don't grab that. No, don't take my stuff. Well, she was the one that cheated on him, so she's at his mercy. I really hope you enjoyed these ones today, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the video right above me.